and ye shall hear wars and rumors of war. Uh -huh. See that ye be not troubled. Go ahead. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, now man been fighting war since the beginning. But the thing he letting you know here, it's going to be really escalating when it gets to the end. And we know it even had to escalate to a point where they can destroy all flesh because we were already read verse 22 in this chapter. So it's escalating. That's why it's fighting all over the place. It's so much fighting, we don't even, even be worried about it. We immune from it. We used to fight. You don't be shocked you hear some war going on and it could be 50,000 people get killed. You'll keep eating your breakfast. So, mm. <laughs> We're immune to it. But go ahead. Verse 7. Uh-huh. For nations shall rise against nations. Uh-huh. And kingdom against kingdom. See, that's what's going on. Worse and worse. Go ahead. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. See, and not just man doing crazy stuff like fighting each other, but stuff man can't even control himself. Natural disasters, famines, where you just don't can't get enough eat. He said pestilence, that's disease. Earthquakes in divers places, you name it, it's going on. Stuff that we have never heard. A few years ago, most, most people in there had never heard of a tsunami. But we've seen that now. Because you name it, he said it's going to go on. Go ahead, verse 7. I'm sorry, 8. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Uh, all these are the beginning. See, we at the beginning of things getting bad. That's why I say you can see it's going to get worse and worse. Go ahead, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. See, don't nobody tell you this either. God's true servants eventually got to be afflicted. Because they don't want nobody to tell the truth when everybody else is lying. So then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Go ahead. And shall kill you. Uh, and even kill you. Jesus said his own will be killed. See, somebody's going to have to get their life up. But until I know that, I'm going to be trying to get to the wilderness when the time comes. Go ahead. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. See, you're going to be hated of all nations for his name's sake. Read verse 11. I'm going to throw that in there. Go ahead. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. See, he keep mentioning that. And who is telling us about false prophets? Surely not the false prophets, are they? That would be counterproductive, wouldn't it? <laughs> They're not going to do that. They don't even mention that. Like it's not even in the Bible, but this is an urgent message from Jesus, the one they claim to be preaching about. You claim to be preaching about Jesus, but I don't see you saying nothing he said. Something is wrong with that. You talking about money coming. Jesus talking about false prophets coming. <laughs> Beware of them. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Now you know why it's a few people believe what's really right. And churches will be full tomorrow with people listening to false prophets. That's why this rapture so theory is so popular. Because you don't have to do nothing with it. All you got to do is say you believe in it and you think it's going to happen. But you're in for a rude awakening. But now skip down to verse 14. We'll get back on track. Go ahead. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, uh -huh. and then shall the end come. See, but the bottom line, the good news, the gospel got to be preached. In the midst of all of this, God got some people still preaching the gospel. That's how we know what our job is, brothers and sisters. Our job is not to try to get a bunch, mass a bunch of weapons and be ready for some war that we couldn't win anyway unless the Lord helped. Our job is not to be, you know, if you want to plant you some tomatoes and stuff, that's fine. But don't make that like that's your out in this world system. Just like people, you know, like I said, a brother told me, that's what we got to do. We got to start working the farm and when it get hard, you know, we can, we can be able to be self-sufficient. Look, how long you think that food going to last? Right. Just like Brother Terrence said one time, you know, they was talking about Y2K and all of that and something bad about to happen. They were saying, well, Terrence, you, did you go buy you a bunch of water? He said, well, for what? I ain't going to live nothing but a few hours longer than you if I bought some water. <laughs> Look, if the Lord don't help you out of a situation like that, you, you in trouble. You can forget it. You might as well hold hands and sing, what's that song? Kumbaya. Kumbaya, yeah. <laughs> 
you can forget it. But the good news is God got a way for us to escape when it get hot and heavy. When the worst time in, this, in the world's history come, he got a way. He always have a way. He didn't just leave Noah out there, did he? When he started letting it rain, he gave Noah some instruction. But notice he just didn't take Noah away and Noah didn't have to do nothing. He gave Noah some instructions and Noah had to do it. So we need to know what the instructions are. So he said in verse 14, first of all, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. So God going to make sure the gospel is heard. And then the end comes. We're still talking about the end. The end has not come yet, has it? So that means this verse cannot be fulfilled yet, has it? So that means Matthew 24 can't be completely fulfilled, can it? That's right. But go ahead, verse 15. When, there, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Now that's the big sign. Out of all of them, that's the big one. Well, he gave you the first one. You got to beware of false prophets. But on the physical level, you watching for some events to take place in this world. The big one that Jesus gave preceding his second coming and the end of the world is this one right here. And he told you to pay attention to it. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, Jesus refers you to Daniel the prophet about a future event in the end of the world. So don't let nobody tell you the Old Testament fulfilled because Jesus took you back to find out about something in the end. Spoken up by Daniel the prophet and it's going to do what? Stand in the holy place and it's so important Jesus said whoso readeth let him understand. 